This is Sam from Uniondale, and you are tuning in to another edition of the Sam I Analyze Show. Breaking news! The Lakers have finally found their new head coach. Let's analyze. Folks, it just broke. Per who else? Adrian Wojnarowski has announced that the Lakers are hiring LeBron's new head coach, J.J. Redick. How do we feel about this? How do I feel about this? I feel like Yawn. And first and foremost, congratulations to J.J. Redick. Congratulations on the new new hire. Congratulations. J.J. Redick, uh, this, you know, played, what is it, 15 years in the NBA, sniper shooter. Uh, he was he was a guy who, uh, I mean, was just recently hired as an NBA analyst. And to me, he's done a great job. He's done a great job. Well, what gave J.J. Redick the credentials to talk basketball? 15 years. 15 years in the NBA, that's what it is. And he did a great job at it. So, J.J. Redick now, I heard he's got his own production company. I mean, he's he's got a, a successful podcast. Um, and he's got one with LeBron James as well. And I'm sitting here and I'm like, all right, cool. But head coach? What credentials does he have to be a head coach? I mean, I know guys like Patrick Ewing. What is it, 15, 16 years he sat on the bench learning learning how to call plays and things like that? Is J.J. Reddick going to be successful? I mean, in order to do so, he's going to have to, to me, have a good coaching staff around him. We've seen this before, though. Uh, you know, coach guys like Steve Nash. How did that work? How did that pan out for Steve Nash? Not sitting on the bench, not getting, not not learning, not interning, not learning the ins and outs of the of of the coaching field. And I, I think, look, the Lakers have talent, no question, right? You still have a LeBron James who's going to be forty years young in December. Going into season 22, uh, you have an, an Anthony Davis, um, and then you've got the Yuri Achimoras of the world. Um, I mean, this this team has talent. They do have talent to Austin Reeves, obviously. Um, Max Christie. I mean, this team, the Lakers, look, they were the seventh seed in the playoffs. They made it uh, out of the playing tournament and made it to the seventh seed. And the unfortunate, it was unfortunate that they faced the Denver Nuggets, the team that are their kryptonite. And unfortunately, Darvin Ham paid the price as a result. So this team can be a playoff team, can be a contender in the West, no question about it. I said it. The Lakers made a mistake by winning that play-in game. They they won the game. Who was it against the Kings? They won that game, and that was a mistake. That was a mistake because if they would have played the Oklahoma City Thunder, they owned them all year. Weren't they four and zero against them? Yes, they were. They dominated them, and that's the team they should have played. If they would have played them, things would have worked out differently. So here's the deal. J.J. Redick is another coach with no experience. Is he going to have success? I don't know. Because you're going to have to deal with LeBron James. And I know people saw my short. People saw a few videos ago. How are you going to say LeBron James is not coachable and he's a, he's a problem child? And, well, good question. For those of you wondering, do you realize that LeBron James has had over 10 coaches in his career? 
That's that's what I believe I counted here. What is it? Two, four, six, eight. This is his tenth coach. So that's double digits. That's double digits. And do you realize this is his fourth coach with the Lakers? His fourth coach. All right. Darvin Ham he had for two years. Before that was Frank Vogel, who he won a championship with. That wasn't good enough. And Luke Walton, who had zero experience, but he was on the he was on a few benches. He was actually on the Warriors bench. So he had uh, he had experience. He only had a year. And they were like, Luke, you gotta go. And uh, I mean, obviously, you look and you you look at some of the guys that he's had in the past. Tyron Lou, he won a championship with in Cleveland. David Blatt was not, you know, Eric Spolstra. And you look, all these guys. By the way, I said it. Eric Spolstra, he was not happy with, and he he was like he thought he was going to walk into Pat Riley's office and get him out of here. And Pat was like, ho, ho, whoa, 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 whoa. I run the show here, not you. Jeannie Buss had to do the same thing with LeBron. I run the Lakers, not you. Understand that. So for those who are like, yo, Sam, how, how, you, how are you coming after LeBron James? A player that many perceive to be the GOAT, not me. You y'all are you guys already know the goat is Michael Jordan, and that's not even that's another debate. That's not even a debate, you know. But maybe I'll drop a video of uh, for you guys on that. But um, you look at this, and guys who stand out, Spolstra. All right, maybe Brandon Malone was an interim guy, but he was still his coach. Paul Silas. I mean, this guy, the late Paul Silas. This guy. In LeBron James, if he doesn't get his way, it's a problem. It's a problem. So I, I think that, I mean, does it help that he, he has camaraderie with J.J. Redick? I think they were, weren't they in the same uh, draft class? And they were, I mean, look, here's the deal. Good luck to J.J. Redick. Um, I think LeBron James needs a guy that he kind of uh, has com camaraderie with, cohesion with. I don't know how long this is going to last, though. The The only thing to me that you possibly sell J.J. Redick on is Braun is not going... We don't anticipate, I mean, him being in the league more than maybe three years tops, 43, 42. I I'm thinking a year or two tops, I don't think LeBron James is, and he said it long for the, for the, for the course here. I don't think he's going to be in the league long. And I think, I think the Lakers. It took them this long, and they said, "Oh, we're going to do our due diligence." They tried to go after Dan Hurley, who could have been a great hire for them. But again, I think the LeBron James factor factored in. It's going to be very interesting. The Lakers, like I said. They were the seventh seed. They were 47 and 35. Um, solid. They were solid. But I, I don't know if this is going to work long term. You know, he's got a four-year deal, J.J. Redick has. So maybe, you know, he's able to, uh, to impart some of his knowledge. Uh, he sounds very insightful when he's breaking down the NBA. Um, but again, is it going to work with LeBron? Is it going to work with AD? We're, we're going to see. We are going to see. I thought the Lakers would have, uh, pivoted and went right after Monty Williams, who was just let go yesterday. That's who I thought. And I'm surprised they went for a guy with a novice as Clyde Frazier would say, a neophyte. In uh, JJ Redick over a guy in Monty Williams, who's ha who has the experience. Yes, with the Detroit Pistons, it was his worst work. His worst work, horrible. But I mean, I thought they would go after somebody like that. LeBron James, 
possibly, you know, what uh, Rob Palenka spoke to him and was like, mm, I'd rather JJ. So we, we're going to see what happens here. We're going to see what happens. The Lakers have talent, though. And I do believe that the Lakers uh, will be, uh, will have uh, say so in uh, the West when it comes to contention. But uh, again, JJ Redick, no experience. How's that going to work out? Let me know what you think in the comments, folks. Let me know about how, how do you feel, Laker Nation? How do you feel? This is your new head coach. LeBron welcomes his 10th head coach in his career. His fourth as a Laker. How do you feel about this, Laker Nation? Now it's that time. Running back Ramondre Stevenson of the New England Patriots signs a four-year extension, four-year deal, $36 million, of which $17 million is guaranteed. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. Folks, I'm on now all social media platforms on Facebook at Sam I Analyze, Instagram, at Sam I Analyze, the platform now known as, formerly known as Le Twitter, at Sam I Analyze, now on TikTok. Folks, please like, share, subscribe, and you see that notification bell to the right, Please click on that. That will let you know the next time I drop another video. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, a tout à l'heure.